what's up youtube it's your girl shawnee and welcome back to the women's palace y'all know i'm out here bumming it that's because y'all pray for me because this schooling stuff is just out of control they got me going here and back and forth and back and forth and i kind of go with my message because you know i just want to encourage people today to keep going because i feel like you know, we're in a season, God's children or people who's working towards a goal. We're in a season right now where the enemy is just throwing obstacle after obstacle, you know, thing after thing. And we can get frustrated. We can get to a point where we're like, God, I thought we were getting somewhere because I'm going to speak on my own life experience. It was like things were getting together. And then all of a sudden it's just like, boom, 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 you know, and that can be frustrating. That can be discouraging. And in that sense, God was just speaking to me and he was like, Okay, I want you to understand that these obstacles are working something in you. It's working your spiritual muscle. And he goes back to, you know, the blessing of the Lord makes it rich and it adds no sorrow. See, what God is making me realize he will allow the enemy to think he's doing something. He will allow the enemy to throw these things into your path, these obstacles to build something in you. And, you know, we sit here and we think, well, you know, just me, like I just been feeling in my spirit, blessings, miracles, you know, breakthroughs. And I'm like, God, like, you know, I'm doing this and I'm doing that. Like, and you know, God was just making me realize he knows what he's doing. You know, sometimes God has to linger with that thing because there's something in you that he's still trying to work out. So in that sense, he will allow those obstacles to be able to spiritually strengthen you to work something in you, to work something up out of you, you know, and that's where he's just making me realize, just keep going. You got to understand that my blessing, the blessings that I'm trying to give you, the breakthroughs that I'm trying to give you, the restoration, because I just feel like this is a season of restoration. It's the season of breakthroughs. It's the season of miracle. God is going to bless his children in a tremendous way, like in a tremendous way that no eye have seen, no ear has heard. And in that, God is like, I don't want to be able to give my children's burdens. You got to be able to understand. And I talked a little bit about this in my other video. It's always a backside to the blessing. Yes, everybody wants this and that and this, but they don't understand what comes with that. And that's what God is preparing us for. We get so caught up on, oh, God, I'm ready. I'm doing this. My mindset, I'm this. Okay, that's cool. But I see something in you that you don't see. So I got to prolong this out a little bit. I'm going to allow the enemy to throw some more little obstacles in there because you're not exactly where I want you to be. I want you to be able to enjoy this blessing i want to be able to allow you to have this joy when i give you this blessing not this burden because your mindset can't keep up what i gave you you know so in that sense i really just want to encourage people to keep going you got to understand if god is prolonging this thing out is bigger than what you think and god also put in my spirit it's it's not as long you're closer than you think God has to make me realize you're you're closer than you think. And that's why the obstacles are seeming to get harder. Or that's why the obstacles is like it's back to back. You're overcoming this and then this. You're overcoming then this, then this. You got to understand that it always gets harder when you're closest. And that's what he's making me realize. Push through. You got to understand how I'm moving in this season if I'm allowing the enemy. And this always goes back to you have to put into your mindset. If God allowed, the enemy has to go through God to get approval to sign off on these attacks. So if God signed off on it, he knows it's something in you that can overcome this. He knows that this can be a great thing for you to be able to to be able to sustain the blessing that he's giving you, you know, and he's also working on me with focus, 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 focus. I feel like in this season, the enemy is not only throwing obstacles, but he's throwing distractions. And you got to understand all distractions are not bad distractions. It can be distractions that you want to do. It can be family. It can be this. It's not saying that family is bad. This is saying that the enemy is trying to use any way he knows how he wants you to get caught up on the distractions that you're not doing what god told you to do see god always bring me back to moses in order for god to have poured at the red sea he needed moses to do his part this is partnership god is going god is requiring you to do your part so he can do his god is always going to do his part but he would never do your part so you have to do your part you have to be focused on what it is that god have called you to do you know and you just got to be able to focus and really don't be so hard on yourself because even this week I found myself I'm going to do so much and then like like I said these obstacles and you know God is like don't be hard on yourself that's what the enemy wants you to do he wants you to condemn yourself oh da, 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 instead of you know what 
moving forward, I'm going to do better. You know, I'm just always being conscious. That's what God is making me realize. Just become conscious of a thing and move forward accordingly. Don't get so hard on yourself. Don't, I'm so stupid. I No, just be conscious, move forward and be better. You know, and focus, like focus on whatever it is because you have to do your part in order for God to do his because he will never do your part, but he always will do his. And you got to be able to trust that everything is working out for your good god knows what he's doing these obstacles that are coming back to back is a sign that you are closer than you think and you got to understand that these obstacles are helping you so you can sustain this blessing that god is giving you you got to be able to understand i gotta keep going and just all about leaning on god like you know that's one thing i'm realizing sometimes we get so caught up on our own strip i'm tired yes you are tired but god is not you know, so God, I need, I need you. You know, I, I was thinking I was supposed to be more, you know, I was thinking the blessing was going to fall down or whatever the case may be. God, I need you. I'm getting weary. I'm getting tired. I'm mentally tired. I'm exhausted. God, I need your strength. I need this. I need that. And it's just all about asking God to pull you through this season. You know what, God, I need you to help me finish this off strong, you know, and really just being encouraged to know that it's not long. That's what I'm really feeling in my spirit. Like I feel God is finto. I'm declaring and decreeing breakthroughs, miracles, signs, wonders, blessings, like financial blessings, emotional blessings, um, <clears throat> breakthroughs and family, breakthroughs and marriages. Like I'm really declaring and decreeing blessings over the body of Christ. And I feel it. I feel it so deeply in my soul. And I think that's why it's so frustrating because you know how you can feel a thing and it is not adding up. It's like, God, what's going on? And in that sense, that can even make you more frustrated. But that's why God was just downloading to me. You got to understand what's taking place. You got to understand what I am doing in this season. My word cannot return unto me void. The blessings are coming. They're here. Quite frankly, the blessings are here. The miracles are here. The breakthrough is here. The restoration is here. But guess what? Just how God said that, you know, I have the promised land for you, but you got to fight. You won't have to fight for that because the enemy don't want to just give it up like that. But guess what? He can't do nothing about it as long as the, this is what God is making me realize. The only person that can stop you is you. So that's why the enemy is getting so caught up on trying to get you frustrated. That's why he's getting so caught up on making you mad and not even, you know what, I'm done. I, ain't nothing going up. And then I actually seen this, um, this, uh, this little meme or whatever. And I might put it up in here where it was like, basically this man was working and you feel me? It's like he stopped and he stopped right when it was like the goal. Like that's where God is making me feel like most of his children right now are. We're getting to a point where we're weary. We're tired. We're like, God, you said this and this is not happening. You're just getting so tired, not realizing your breakthrough is closer than you think. Your miracle is closer than you think. And that's why the enemy is throwing so much. And but that's also another reason why God is allowing him because God don't want you to give up. He wants you to fight to the end, to the very end and be in victory like he already told you you was before you started this journey. So I just want to encourage you guys to keep going. You are closer than you think. You got to understand these obstacles are spiritually strengthening you. These obstacles is moving something in you. And you got to understand that you're going to have to just take, take a licking and keep on ticking. Take a licking and keep on ticking, literally. And understand that you need to be focused. Because the enemy is, like I said, he's also throwing obstacles, but he's also trying to get distract you. Because he knows if you don't do what you need to do, God can't do what he told you he was going to do. Because you ain't did your part. Always understand, this is a partnership. God is requiring something of you to move. Just like I said, God didn't part the Red Sea without Moses lifting his staff or his rod whatever it was god is requiring you so you got to get focused on what it is that god told you to do so he can move okay so stay focused and this is just an encouraging word to keep going keep going no matter what you see keep going if you got to lean on god lean on god that's what he's there for that's why he sent the holy spirit lean on him i need to his our his strength works best in our weakness you weakness god give me your strength you know, I'm tired. God, you know, help me through this day. Sometimes things can get so bad that you, God, just get me through the day. We're not talking about tomorrow. Just get me through today. We'll deal with tomorrow, tomorrow. But you got to understand the reason why it's getting so much harder 
is because you're close. You're closer than you think. And don't give up on your breakthrough. Don't give up on your blessing because you're tired. And the enemy is throwing these things in your path. Keep going. Keep going. Because if you keep going, God is going to blow your mind. God is going to blow your mind. God is I'm declaring and decreeing, like I said, blessings, miracles, signs, wonders, restoration in all areas in your life, in all aspects. And that's one thing God is making me realize, too, before I end this off. Stop stop thinking small with me. You're going through all this. Your joy can't, the things you're going through can't even imagine the joy that I have for you. I have big blessings for you. People just thinking, oh, these little small blessings. God is like, baby, I'm going to blow your mind what I got for you. And that's why the enemy is coming for you. That's why it's obstacle after obstacle. That's why it's distraction after distraction. But you know what? Persevere. Because what I got for you, you're not going to even remember this season. You're not going to be worried about this season, but rather you're going to be happy because that gave you what you needed to sustain that blessing. So as I always say, go out and be a light in this dark world and keep going because you're closer than you think.